You guys hear that sound? It's peace and quiet right now. It's, you know, no, no news or any noise on possible trades for Jack Eichel. And it's pretty much gone d quiet here in Buffalo. But I want to talk about a couple of things like, uh, for example, reason why Jack, it's so tough to trade him, not just because of his possible neck surgery or the injury that he's going through, or the fact that, you know, the, his pretty much his agents can't keep their nose out of this business because it really honestly doesn't concern them. But also at the fact that somebody else decided to stick their nose in about his injury and about the Sabres apparently medical staff and I guess how it's so badly flawed. Robin Leonard chir chirped in and basically talked about how he had, he was dealing with a sprain and pretty much they got him on the weights to try to get him back between the pipes a little bit faster. Okay, that was, that had to be back way back. You know, probably around 2016, 2017. Well, Leonard, I got to say, man, you're with Vegas now. You are a pretty much one of the best goaltenders right now in the league. And you just became probably the full-time starter for Vegas because of Marc-Andre Fleury going to Chicago. You haven't had anything to do with this organization for a long time. So, as far as I'm concerned, keep your nose out of it. Mind your own business. All right? So, you had a problem with us years ago. Okay, well, I don't see what that's got to do with right now and what that's got to do with Jack. All right? This problem is going to be done between the guys in the front office of the Buffalo Sabres and Jack Eichel. This is who has got to figure it out. Also, at the fact that why it's so tough to trade Jack is because we're still dealing with a flat cap. And I don't think really anybody has the room or the budget to be really covering Jack's $10 million a year salary. As everybody probably doesn't remember, Jack Eichel signed a contract with Buffalo back in 2018, I do believe it was, toward around the 2018-2019, 2017-2018 season, towards the end there. Signed a contract for eight years, $80 million, getting $10 million a season, and pretty much <laughs> to not do anything, but to sit and cry about everything. You know, he's... Like I, I've said it before in probably my other videos, he should never have been the main, named a captain. Should have never wrapped up all this money in him. Once he said, going into his final year of his entry level, that he wasn't happy being here, that's a sign you should have traded him. To be quite honest, I feel like it's the kind of thing that brings a cancer or brings a downward spiral in the locker room. When you have guys that don't want to be here and they are pretty much saying it out loud, that needs to go. I think, you know, one of the biggest regrets for this team was pretty much letting Riley O'Reilly go. That guy, I would have chosen him to be captain of this team any day of the week. You know, and it's kind of funny how Ryan O'Reilly goes to St. Louis the year after he left Buffalo. He ends up winning the Stanley Cup. Not only the Stanley Cup, but he wins the Conn Smythe, and he wins the the Frank J. Selke Trophy. And the year after, Zach Bogosian, we put him on waivers. He goes to Tampa Bay. You know, pandemic hits. We had that pl playoff format, yet Tampa Bay wins the Cup. It's so crazy, you know, that's two years in a row where we lose a guy, he wins the cup the next year. Or within that year, we let him go. It, you know, it just blows my mind. Is there, the this team is poorly managed and poorly coached. You know, and I think that when you got a captain like Jack Eichel right now, especially with his complete lackluster attitude, 
it just brings a drain on the team. And not only does it bring a drain on the team, but when you got a team that's not passionate being you know playing on that ice, you know, it takes a toll on the fans. I love my team to death, but it sucks going to a game, and especially going to a game where they show no passion, they show no heart or fight. God, it sucks. And another thing is that going into this season, everybody's still hoping that he gets traded before training camp starts. Right now, I'm not seeing it happening. You know, but this guy's going to be, Jack Eichel's going to be a cancer on some of the young guys that you are hoping to be the future of this team. Dylan Cousins, Casey Milstad, Rasmus Dahlin, the list goes on. I think that these kids are quite capable of, lear of learning the hard way, but also learning on their own. I think, you know, I, I would like to see them get something for Jack because of the fact that we don't want this another to be another Ryan O'Reilly trade. As if anybody doesn't remember that trade, Ryan O'Reilly goes to the Blues. We get Patrick Berglund, Vladimir Savoka, Tage Thompson, and I believe we also got a draft pick for, you know, in the mix. Berglund left not even a few games into his first year with us. He left, he went back to Sweden. Saboka did absolutely nothing pretty much in his, you know, second year with the team, gets concussed, and he's done. Tage Thompson, still rougher on the edges, still I consider him a minor league guy. He showed some potential towards the end of the year last year. It just stinks. But going back to the whole thing of players leaving our team and then going on to win the Stanley Cup. That almost happened again when we traded Eric Stahl to Montreal. But not only that, I'd like to bring up something else. A long time ago, I posted up on Sabres Mafia on Facebook... That one guy that I wanted to see them draft was Cole Caulfield. And we drafted Dylan Cousins. Nothing towards Dylan Cousins because I believe he's got a lot of potential. I feel like he's probably going to be maybe our next captain. Not this year, but maybe the year after, the year after that. You know, who knows? But just the way that Cole Caulfield came in towards the end of the season last year for Montreal. Not only that, but ends up being one of your top guys in the playoffs in his first year. You kidding me? Playoffs? It, it's crazy. And not only that, not only did they win the Stanley, almost win the Stanley Cup, Montreal. We could have watched Eric Stahl go from Buffalo to Montreal in that one year and win it. Along with Cole Caulfield, the one guy that I wanted Buffalo to draft. And so many people on Sears Mafia was like, oh, he's too small. We don't need a guy like him. He ain't going to be doing very much. Oh, he's not good enough. You know, we don't need another, another shorty player who's not going to amount to nothing. Really? He gets into the playoffs, competes for the cup, almost wins it in his first year. <laughs> you know, this this team is the reason why I'm still going to therapy. But I just can't seem to give it up. I don't want to give it up. Because whether this team is successful or not, I will never stop having passion and respect and dedication for this team. When a moment sucks for this team... I will admit it sucks, but no matter how much <laughs> I'm pissed off to the highest of pissivity, I will not give up on my, on this team. Therefore, it's been pretty rough. <laughs> rough, Lindy, rough. Anybody, anybody else miss him? Anybody else want that guy back? I don't know. Maybe give Don Granado a shot. Don Granado deserves an opportunity. 
And I hope we, I hope we're not going out there just to flop. Show some heart, show some passion, make hockey fun again here in Buffalo. It, it's, <laughs> God, it's just brutal. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. Click like if you like this video. Click subscribe to my YouTube channel. Open to have links of uh, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Hopefully you guys can follow me there. Spring, well, let me rephrase that's training camp. It's right around the corner. And I believe our first game of the season for regular season will be the 13th of October against Montreal. And God, I hope we show fight and we show that if hockey can still be fun in Buffalo. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. See ya.